The number of refugees fleeing Ukraine has risen to 4.1 million. Many of them have fled their homes with the hopes to return. But is this a reality for them? Two weeks ago, we met Gia Chacon, a refugee aid worker who has worked all over the world. Today, she is in Poland. Her sister, Sofia Chacon, has more. Sofia? Thanks, Promise. There are now 2.5 million refugees in Poland. My sister Gia spoke with me about the refugees she had met in Poland. She was impressed by how brave and determined they were about returning to their homeland in Ukraine. They won't say, oh, I'm a refugee. I've been forced to flee my country. They will say, I am living in Poland because of the war in Ukraine, and I will return to my country eventually. So you can see that they're determined that they will return back to their country and they have hope to uh, see their lives go back to normal. My sister makes an important note. She says the majority of these people are middle class and upper middle class. So to leave everything that they had behind and now to not only be a refugee, but have to beg for things, but have to accept things from other people um, to not be able to work is very shameful for them. In addition to the uncertainty of their lives, they are also waiting for word of their relatives left behind. And sometimes that news is heartbreaking. While a gentleman was sharing his story, somebody called him in the middle of, of his presentation and gave him the news that one of his close friends had been killed in action in the war in Ukraine. A young man who had a new family um, who had just been married only a few years was killed during our conference while this other man from Ukraine was sharing his story. My sister was able to befriend many young women and children who had fled the Ukraine. She says they told her their husbands, sons, and brothers were forced to stay and fight in the war, and many of their elderly loved ones refused to leave the Ukraine. Despite meeting so many people, they are reluctant to open up to her about their trauma. I was able to speak with um, many young women, and, um, you know, to be honest, they didn't really want to speak about what happened, but you can see in their eyes how traumatized they are. Despite all they're going through, escaping from their homeland to a new country, the refugees told my sister how welcome the Poles made them feel, how there was help everywhere. I'm Sophia Chacon, back to you at the desk.